Why does your airplane need an accelerator pump? You'll hear instructors talking about them, but they're rarely discussed in training. So what is it? When you quickly jam the throttle in on a carbureted airplane, you're instantly allowing for full airflow through the carburetor. But the fuel has more weight than the air, so it needs a little time to catch up. Which means that your engine is momentarily running with too much air and not enough fuel. This can cause your engine to completely stop running, which is really not something you want when you're trying to get full power from your airplane. This is where an accelerator pump comes in. Unlike normal engine operation, which uses negative pressure created by the airflow through the carburetor to suck in the fuel, which only works when the engine is turning, the accelerator pump is a tiny piston inside of your carburetor, which is directly connected to the throttle cable. Now, when you jam the throttle in, the tiny piston pushes a small squirt of fuel into the venturi of the carburetor. This prevents the engine from having too much air and not enough fuel. The accelerator pump works even without the engine running, which is why you'll see some pilots pump the throttle before starting. But it's not the best practice because it can cause a carburetor fire since the fuel is being injected at the carburetor. Unlike the primer, which injects fuel directly at the engine's intake valves. And another thing to keep in mind is that not every airplane has an accelerator pump. So it's always best practice to smoothly apply full throttle in order to allow the fuel to keep up with the increased airflow. If not, you might kill the engine when what you really wanted was full power.